Right now we're on an abandoned, long lost section of old Highway 80, and that's the Desert View Tower right behind me. Today, we're gonna look for the spot where the Desert View Tower's cafe once stood and explore this section of Highway 80. So let's go. So we're at the Desert View Tower, and we've done a video on the Desert View Tower previously, and I'll put a link to it in the description in case you wanna see more on the Desert View Tower itself and the attached Boulder Park. But the reason that we're out here today is because when Bert Vaughn built the Desert View Tower in the early 1920s, one of the reasons was to advertise his restaurant. Now, the restaurant was located on Old Highway 80, and Old Highway 80 was torn up and removed from this area and replaced by Interstate 8. And I thought the area where the restaurant was is long gone, but it turns out it's hard to get to, but it's still there. So we're gonna take a journey out there today, see if we can get out to where the restaurant used to be, explore an abandoned piece of old Highway 80, and see what we can find. So let's go see what we can see out there, hopefully something. From here you can see old abandoned Highway 80, and that's actually where we're gonna to try to get to. The only thing in between us and where we want to go is westbound Interstate 8. So we got to find a way to get to the other side of Interstate 8 and then make it out to this kind of island in between the two sections of the freeway. So we've walked down the hill from the Desert View Tower and we're going to get on the other side of Interstate 8 by going under it right here. So now we're going to go under this bridge underneath Interstate 8 and this doesn't look sketchy at all. I'm not exactly sure what this stuff is, but it feels like we're in a Mad Max movie here. We noticed this graffiti on the on the bridge here that says there's a snake in my boot. It's probably, rather than take the time to spray paint that, you probably should get that taken care of. So we've made it into the area between the eastbound and westbound Interstate 8. And now I believe we just head up this hill a little bit and we should find what we're looking for. Well, let's hope anyways. We've come across these pieces of cement hidden in the bushes here, and you can see the old wood in the middle. I'm not sure what these were from, but probably from the old highway. And now they're just hidden in the bushes here. And there's Interstate 8 right there. We're kind of winding our way up the hill now. And you can see the Desert View Tower and where Interstate 8 has been cut through the mountain here. So we are above Interstate 8 at this point. And it looks like we just gotta cross over these boulders and we should be to where we want to go. So we've kind of reached a point here where our only choice is to bushwhack a little or try to scale these boulders. I'm gonna try to cut right through there and hopefully we can avoid those thorns. So we're kind of in these boulders now and there's a lot of little sheltered areas where I'm really keeping careful watching out for any animals but take a look at this little cave down here. I could just imagine something's living in there. 
Also, look on the boulders. That looks like it was made by man. Over here too, looks like a little bowl. But yeah, I'm gonna try to avoid going too close to that because that just looks from this angle like something something could be living in. So let's go over, I guess. <sighs> and I can kind of see our destination, but it looks like we still got some more boulders to cross. And here we are, a long abandoned portion of Highway 80 and the spot where the Desert View Tower Cafe once stood. So let's go down, take a closer look and stand on this road that no cars have driven on in decades. Okay, so we've made it out to that abandoned section of Highway 80, and now let's see if we could figure out where the cafe was. The only thing I have to go off of is this old picture, and this is the only picture I have of the cafe, but you could kind of see where the Desert View Tower is in the picture, and we could kind of orient. Hopefully there's a foundation or something to signify where the cafe was, but let's take a look down this highway and figure out if we could find it and see what else we could find. So we know the cafe was right on the highway and taking a look at the Desert View Tower there, this looks to be pretty close to where it would have been. But let's explore along the side here and see if we can't find something more concrete of where it was. See if we find a foundation or anything. And here's the highway, as you can see the nature is starting to reclaim it but looking at the picture this should be pretty close to where it was but let's go out by where this tree is over here I've been looking for any kind of stamp or any kind of date in the concrete but I haven't found anything yet it's hoping to see if we can figure out when exactly this concrete was laid. And I do see something kind of interesting over here. But yeah, no, I haven't seen any stamp or date on the concrete yet. Hopefully we do find something though. There's a lot of torn up concrete off to the side here. And I believe this would have been the uh, the road from where it extended on. So probably when they tore out the road to build Interstate 8 through here, they just tossed the leftover concrete right here. You can see some tarmac down here. Still, no date or anything on the concrete that I've come across yet. So right off the old highway, on the side the cafe would have been on, you could see it was paved here. This is some tarmac underneath me that's all broken up and covered with sand. And looking at the picture, it looks like the cafe would have been right here. This tree seems to be where the cafe would have been because you could see the Desert View Tower kind of peeking over the corner of the building. There are some telephone poles in the background. I don't see any evidence of where the pole was, but you could see the telephone line here that's still going. These don't look to be that old of telephone poles, so I don't believe that these poles were there when this picture was taken. 
but this tree seems to be just in the right position for where this photo was from. Let's take a closer look at the tree itself and see if we can see any evidence of anything over here. There's a lot of old wood around here. Someone with a metal detector can have a field day out here. Yeah, I see a lot of old wood, but nothing more, but you can see the tower pretty much lines up with this tree. So I believe where we're standing right now is where the cafe was. But let's take a look around just a little bit more, see if we could see anything else. Here's a circle of rocks with a couple sticks in it that looks like a grave or something. Lots of cactus. I've come across a few pieces of metal, a lot of broken bottles. But nothing too out of the ordinary. Some quartz right there. And then, oh, what's this over here? Well, that's Jessica falling over there, but. Yeah, we saw that. Everyone saw that. Apparently Jessica ran into some quicksand. All right, so looks like we do have something here. Some wood, it looks like this might have been one of the uh, pillars. If you look on the uh, picture here, the rock pillars, this may be where one of them was. I'm not 100% sure. This does kind of line up still with this tree being in the corner. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, this definitely looks like the corner of the building that's in the picture because right over here, is another one. So it looks like we found where the building once was. At least I think so. A lot of, a lot more metal and bottles and wood in this area as well. Some pottery and what do we got over here have a pipe here we go here's some cement so yeah this is where the uh, cafe once was And this is what's left of the buildings here. Just some broken up cement, some rebar, some wood, and a great view of the Desert View Tower. So I'm walking towards the end of the road, still trying to find a stamp or anything in the cement so we can figure out a date. I didn't bring a measuring tape, but if I did, we could just actually measure the road and figure out when it was built by how wide it is. But unfortunately, I don't have a measuring tape, so I'm not going to be able to do that today. And here we are at the end of the road. So no, no dates. And then down below us is Interstate 8 going east. So 
So after a lot of discussion, we've decided that this is where the old photo showing the cafe was taken from. So here's what it looks like here in 2022. And here's what it looked like in the 1950s. Well, that's our look at this abandoned section of Highway 80 and our search for the Desert View Tower Cafe. I want to give special thanks to Martin B who left a comment giving us the idea to do a video on this. We really appreciate all the suggestions and we definitely look into every single one of them. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.